All right, so we're going to do a quick outside update just to kind of bring everybody up to speed on what's doing what outside. So, um, anyways, see how good a shot we can get. No promises. But, and here we have Pearl Danios. Um, they are breeding. I do have babies in here. I, that's just kind of dark. We're probably not going to be able to see much. So we're gonna go ahead and feed. This is a mix of um, cobalt, cobalt brine shrimp flake, micro pellets, and Hakari first bites. I want to say is what I have in here. And then over here we can see a whole lot of fish. These are my uh, wild mosquito fish, and these are definitely gonna be able to overwinter outside year round, which I'm very happy about. I'll probably be getting some more native fish just for that reason then over here we have the shrimp pond now these guys get fed maybe once a day probably not even that much but we'll see if we can actually see any these are definitely breeding by the way um, don't see a whole lot right now there's one right there um, there's actually quite a few on that wood there, you can see. We got one, nice one. Um, there's one on that rock, I think, maybe. Um, probably some in this moss. I just added it, it's Java, nothing special. Um, where else? Hmm, they're, well, they're not really out like they usually are. Oh, there's another one right there. But normally I'll have like a bunch, I'll have like 10 to 15 of them just right there. Uh, I'm not really seeing that right now though, so go ahead and move on. But they're definitely breeding in there. I'll, I'll get some footage as soon as I can. Um, then in here, a little bit of food. That's too much. We just have goldfish. <laughs> so I've got two Arandas and a fairly large Comet. Let's see if, we, uh, if they feel like coming out. Yep, there's the Comet. Boom. And Comet gets fed Hikari Staple. And then the other goldfish just get fed uh, this stuff as well. And then as you can tell, they get a lot of duckweed brought out from inside. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's one of the uh, Arandas there. That was my first, I think my first ever goldfish, to be honest. He just has a really nice really nice form and body and tail to him so you see that tail huge he's almost a veil tail i swear let's uh moving on we've got uh white clouds and you can see we got where'd that baby go where'd that baby go uh, i know i have fry in here i finally started to see him let's see come on now ah there we go there's some fry i think you guys can see this let's see Where are we at? Oh man, can we not see those? Oh wait, there's, yeah, they're right there. How oh, you can't, eh, focus. Yeah, so you kind of see one. But these are just regular old white clouds, uh, nothing special. They're just gonna get fed a little bit of this too. Um, and I just try and sprinkle that around all over the tote. And these are about 125 gallons each. Um, some are more, some are less. Um, yeah, but those are doing good. Got quite a few sizes. I started with about eight, you know, adults, young adults. Oh, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. Um, then moving over here, a little bit more food. Um, we just have some golden white clouds you can see there. And then those are Australian rainbows. And I'm just kind of growing those out outside to kind of see how they do. I just want to see if I can bring in some really nice um, Australian rainbows. I think I called them golden rainbows. But they're Australian rainbows, just the, the basic ones. So I'm trying to see if I could grow some out outside and then basically work on them and see if I can't end up with a uh, nicer Australian rainbow. Um, than you would normally find, but they actually already are breeding, and I think, I'm pretty sure, 
they spawn for me because I think I moved plants out of here into there and now I have a bunch of babies. But then over here we have some red velvet sword tails that need to get moved to a bigger pond. But I do think I'm actually going to try and keep this pond up and running because to be honest it's really simple. I like it. I got that for free on the side of the road. The top half had a crack in it so I just cut that off and uh, it works like this. Alright then over here we just have babies galore and these are my um, what kind of platies? Sunburst platies? And uh, that's not all the babies, trust me. There's way more in here. They're, uh, so I use, oh, there's a bunch. But I utilize a lot of leaf litter from, from fallen trees and trees that I trim. And uh, I just throw it into them. That's why a lot of these are browner. Because um, I just throw in a lot of leaf litter and they utilize that to hide. Oh my God, there's the horde of babies. You see all those? And there's like, uh, I put about eight adults in here. I think um, six of them were females. At least five of them were females. With a few, just a few males. And that's completely overfed right there. But it's completely fine. They'll uh, eat it and that tote will handle it. So these leaves, as long as they're yellow, I can, I can keep overfeeding basically. Uh, the nitrates do not get high. Oh my god, I'm being eaten alive. And then over here was supposed to be my uh, red velvet sword tank but my female died on me because uh, I could only get two females and one male my females didn't make it and uh, my male may still be in here but I don't know if you guys can see uh, I have fry in here I don't know what they are because they're they're like a, a silver fry so I'm assuming that they're the rainbow fry see if I can get a good enough angle where you can kind of see them there so you can kind of see those, but oh my gosh, I'm being eaten alive, so I really, really got to move. This does not feel good. Way too many mosquitoes in here. Oh, geez. I don't like that. I do not like that. Okay, we got we to gotta do something real quick about all that. So, there'll be a whole lot less mosquitoes if there's going to be some wind movement because they can't. All right, there we go. Much better. Ugh, they can't sit here and you know be as successful at biting me with their uh, with a whole lot of wind so we're gonna turn a couple of these fans on here and teach them a lesson oh my god it feels so bad oh just got eaten alive let's see what this guy can we turn you on to there we go that guy going too boom all right awesome much better should have done that to start and then we're going to finish with the, the chickens because I, I feel like everybody wants to know how they're doing. And uh, they're doing good. Um, so they're locked in their coop basically to get them laying again. Um, basically because I'm lazy and I leave their, their, their latch door open 24-7. Uh, at some point a cat, and I, think a, I think it was a possum, but a cat or a possum got in here. Decided to start eating their eggs. <laughs> They're a little bit excited. Come, come on, girls. Come on. Move. Scoot, 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 scoot. Come on. So, uh, they, they quit laying here where they normally lay. So, that's where they would lay. Right there and right there. They don't lay there anymore. These are just, literally, that's just a fake egg. Fake egg. Those are their trainer eggs to kind of show them where to lay. They won't lay there. They do lay here though, so actually I've got one, two, three, four, five, and this is from the past two days. So I have one kind of slow girl, but five eggs in two days is not that bad for, for three chickens. So um, I do need to go ahead and harvest those. What's up, girls? What are you doing? Hmm? Buck, 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 buck. Hmm? Watch out. Watch out. Are we going to take these from you? Are we going to take these from you, put those in the compost pile? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to put those in the compost pile? Yeah. So we're going to take these ah, and put them in the compost pile. Yeah, good girls. No, that's not food. Go. No, no, no. It's not food. Go. It's not food. Go. It's not. No, it's not food. Go. Go. It's not food. Go. Go, 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 go. All right. So chickens are doing good. They're laying again. So that's that was the main concern is to get them laying again. 
Uh, we've accomplished that, so pretty soon I'll probably start letting them out, though I want them to feel comfortable enough that they lay in their two lay boxes, otherwise it's just a lot of work. Why are you gonna do that? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? We get to walk in. Who walks inside of a bowl? Oh my goodness! But they're doing good. No, no, quit. Go. Just, just go over there. Just go over there. You girls want out? All right, go out then. Go on. Go that way. Just go out. This is this is gonna suck. I already know. That. I'm gonna have to like. I'm gonna have to basically chase them out of my garden and put them back in. That's more compost. Celery that just got thrown out because it was bad. So it's nice when you just have a backyard like this because you just, when vegetables go bad, you just throw them out your back door and know that either an animal, your chickens, or you'll get them at some point in time and turn them into more garden soil. So I think that's it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, chicken. Goodbye.